Hey guys, Radio Garage, we're back on the bench here. So this is the redo video of the microphone testing. I totally botched up and boogered up and screwed up the audio on the last video doing the microphone uh, testing to review this microphone here, the Driver Extreme. So uh, I do apologize guys. Uh, everybody was kind of losing their minds there in the comments saying the same thing um, about, you know, doesn't sound right, sounds muffled, sounds bad. And then two minutes later, so I would respond and, and say, you know, yes, okay, I understand. I need to uh, make some adjustments. I had the, uh, the volume up too high. I need attenuation. I'm not, you know, totally 100% on the line level setup. And then somebody say the same exact thing. It's like, guys, look in the comments. I just addressed it. Um, you guys are, kept hammering me on that. So uh, thanks for keeping me honest on that and uh, calling out my mistakes. So thank you for that. Uh, I knew nothing would slip by you guys. You guys are are my loyal, uh, honest subscribers. So, anyways, here is the redo, the much needed redo video. So this here, we're just going to strictly focus on microphone audio. I think I have everything set up where it needs to be set up. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely definitely going to uh, give these a good a good run here, hopefully. And also for the echo haters. I will do the echo off to start and then I will turn the echo on. I will do it both ways. Uh, certain operators like it with it, certain uh, operators like it without. I personally think a little bit of echo sounds great, but you know, a lot of folks don't like it, so we'll try it both ways. Um, okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to plug in the line level, okay, and then uh, the audio in here will drop out. Also too, I, I have most of all my equipment shut off. Um, so as you can see, scope's off, spectrum analyzer's off. The only thing I have running that you hear, the one fan, is my big power supply because this is the high-powered radio. And um, I have my LED lights on, so I don't know if that'll cause any kind of interference. But yeah, I do have all LEDs in here. Pretty much every light in here is LED. So um, yeah, if you, I'm used to a lot of hums and noises and fans and stuff, guys, because I'm with this all day long, every day. This kind of you know noise, so. I don't even pick up on it, but here we go. We're going to give these a test. We're going to start off with the driver extreme. I'm going to plug in the line level audio now. Okay, and we got the driver extreme here. This is no echo. Driver extreme microphone, one, two, three, four, five. And then the audio should sound natural, like my natural voice. I think that's how a radio should come across on the air is uh should sound like how you sound in person so here we go driver extreme ranger sra 198 ranger sra 198 A static 636, a static 636 microphone, one, two, three, four, five. And we're on the Road King 56 now. This is the old Telex Turner Road King. And uh, the only thing I can say that this one might have going for it is it's so old that most of the uh, microphone foam in the front is totally worn out so it may give it a little more audio because there's basically no foam left for it to all deteriorate it. You can see it kind of coming, uh, the metal shining through there on the element. And now we're back on the driver extreme. We're going to turn the echo on. Now we're going to do all the radio, all the microphones with the echo on. Okay, and once uh, again, I'm not sure really how this is going to come across. Um, let me turn the talk back on the radio here, see where I have this echo set. One, two. One, 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 two. Okay, I think I have it set there, but like I said, I'm not sure because I can't hear it on your guys' end right now. Driver extreme, one, two, three, four, five. Ranger SRA 198, Ranger SRA 198, 
Aesthetic 636. The Aesthetic 636. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, yeah. Road King. Road King. RK56. Telex Turner. Road King. RK56. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, yeah. Okay, so hopefully that was a good enough test for you guys, and uh, hopefully that's better. So that's all I could do. All I like to do is try, and uh, yeah, when I make a mistake, I definitely own up to it. And this was uh, that that last video was definitely a mistake. I really probably, uh, yeah, I should I should have definitely went over that audio before re releasing that video and and realizing that that was uh, junk. So want to make sure that this microphone has the proper. Uh, you know, fair chance against the other ones. So, uh, the other thing is, too, guys, uh, this radio is now going to be for sale. I had posted the other day about an amplifier and a radio that I'm going to be putting for sale. I did not get to, uh, I did not end up getting to list them. So, uh, this is going to be the radio that I was talking about. Uh, I'll go through, I'll do a video showing everything with this, and then um, I have a little two pill um, custom built amplifier that's I don't know who built it honestly there's no name on it or anything so I'll, I'll kind of get a video for you guys uh, to, to see if you guys want to are interested in any of that stuff okay appreciate it guys the radio garage oh one more thing actually I got in um, some stickers this is one of the new stickers I got in if anybody's interested I made these up for the community okay CB radio operator. So these are the new stickers that I'll be uh, selling on the website. I got to get them on, and also um, any customers when you uh, get a radio serviced or worked on or anything um, or buy a radio, I will include a sticker for you. So just thought uh, I'd put that out there. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Hope everybody has a good week. The radio garage. We're off the key.